right guys See how much this Beesman BTUs million BTUs. This is coming out. Everything that, that this taps into, the snow melt, domestic water. Then we got this boiler here. It's coming out. Those are the auxiliaries for the pool. Looks like it's about 400 BTUs, 400,000 BTUs. Taps into here. There's a plate exchanger for the snow melt. All this is gone. This is the whole core of the house right here. It's a nice boiler. All right, guys. You gotta always think of the homeowner. So this does a pool heat. What I'm gonna do is tie this in to the domestic water over there. After just run some packs over. So while we're doing this whole setup, they'll have domestic or take a, take a shower or whatnot. I'm gonna start separating these plates. Hopefully, I have some good luck there. And uh, she's going. The other thing is labeling wires. You can't just cut everything. I had a box of sensor wires. Gotta label them, make sure I know where everything's going. All for the floor sensors and whatnot, outdoor sensor. And yeah, that panel is gonna be removed. All these controls are going to be removed. Right now I'm just going to take everything off up until the pumps. It's going to be all gone. Pumps all the way up there. Gas feed. Capped it off. Valved off. Out of the many furnaces, here's one. Weathermaker. Well, here all the way. Hammer and Alright guys, the main boiler is removed and some piping. What I did so the customer's not without domestic hot water until all the boilers are set up is I hooked it up to this boiler. It wasn't doing the domestic water. But what I did is it's doing the spa and a few other things. This is gonna be removed eventually, but for now, what I did is I just tied it into the supply and return. Chopped it there, chopped it here, supply and return. I pexed it to where the domestic hot water heat exchanger is. My expansion valve still hooked up, functional, the pump, and I have these two other pumps I gotta hook up tomorrow over there. 
So the customer, again, thinking about the customer, they're not without domestic hot water for the whole time we're doing the boiler hookup. This boiler will be removed eventually, but for now, we're gonna use it for the domestic hot water. Just got the feed here. And my lines there. All right, guys, this is how I did the temporary wiring for the boiler to come on while we are working on this whole setup. So I got a thermostat here. I just mounted it here for now. And I have a sensor that's going to the return side of the domestic hot water loop. I'll show you where that is. All the way up there on top of those two pumps, the return side, I go with the heat exchanger. There's a sensor I put there and I ran those wires. To the thermostat. I have it at a set point at 120 for now. So, what it makes, I got the two wires from my normally open going to my boiler call. And I got my power and my common coming from there. So this will give them hot water while we're working on this whole setup. The two pumps you got there at the top that I showed you, I ran them straight to the boiler. They're gonna be running all the time. Same with the boiler pump. I got my uh, expansion tank there still. See my supply and my return. So this is gonna give them temporary heat to those storage tanks while we're working on this system. I'll show you how I did the framing for my boilers. All Unistrut. I tied them in with the existing supports here. I'm gonna be putting another support in the middle. One boiler is mounted. I would have all boilers here, but the order got screwed up. Great. Sucks. But we can still continue the piping, which I'm doing right now. Two and a half main trunk. Did a few measurements. And you can see where you land. It's gonna be the same thing. I'm gonna have four boilers here. So if your measurements are pretty close, you'll get it dead on. This is my return side loop, and my supply is gonna be right on top. Got threaded rod here, which is temporary, I'm gonna put them in place after. Threaded rod, pipe stays, and all my takeoffs are gonna be behind. I'll probably put some plywood behind, and they'll be branching off. The loops up there, I got my snow melt, loop here there's floor warming in the other area there's my auxiliary heat for the uh, cool water and uh, cool air they're coming from up here um, spa there's gonna be at least 10 takeoffs this spoiler is gonna be removed after so we're gonna have about four boilers here at 400,000 BTUs each. All right guys, when you're doing piping this big, this will only get you so far. You gotta bring out the oxygen assembly, it's much quicker. The only thing is, be careful, you don't wanna burn the pipe and get it to crazy temperatures. So not too much oxygen, and you'll be good. Hi 
fittings. When you're putting fittings on, it's very important to have everything level as possible. This is your best friend. What's that butt? Alright guys, since my bowlers are not here, I still wanted to move ahead like I said before, so I knew I, I, what distance I wanted in between the boilers. Then I got the distance from the return to the return and the boiler width. So I have 27 inches from that return to this return. Same thing, I'm repeating myself. I have the same distance. And then when it comes to the supply, same thing. You got the 15 in between, but your 27 is still going to be the same. So my 27 and 3 quarters, whatever it is that you measured, it's going to be the same for my supplies. And I keep on going. Alright guys, before building a manifold, I have to draw out roughly what I need, the sizes, and so on. So, we got about one, two, three, four, five. this side but my temporary boiler as you can see it's been missions I'm trying to keep this thing going while I'm doing all this it's in the way so I didn't start on those two I have enough room for those two loops and I started my air heat for my Soresco dehumidification the auxiliary and the cool floor so this is my air heat these two the pumps gonna be there and they go straight up and my stressco unit is all the way on the second floor through this floor so i'll be tying into that and here's the thermostatic mixing valve my pump the supply return they're gonna go along here and they tie into these these are existing floor warming for the pool area this is my supply label and that's my return Dielectric unions to the iron, dielectric union to the iron. It's a supply return. So that's the first two. My boilers should be coming here later this afternoon. After that, I got the domestic water, hot water loop, which is the one that's temporary now. So maybe after I do that, maybe I get this boiler out of the way, I don't know. And so on, so on. Then there's a, a, a made a loop. Uh, heat coil that's going upstairs and there's one that goes beside me to the garage coil then we got front steps and snow melt a lot going on We've got some plywood here I drilled it in to the unit strut Put these cross braces in. This is the main loop I started. I don't want to go too much further because my boilers are not here. My last boiler is going to be right here. Put these feet here. I don't want to screw them in yet because they want to fix these tiles eventually.
Thank <laughs> you.